Welcome to the Lab Preschool Online Experience. My name is Miss Holly, and I'm so glad that you chose to join us here today. Guess what? I was watching a show on TV called America's Got Talent. It's a show where people come from all around America and they show off their special talents. Things like singing or tap dancing or even really cool magic tricks. And there was one of the videos that was my most favorite. It had to do with cats. They were so cute. This one lady, she trained these cats to do all kinds of really cool tricks. And I wanted to show you guys. You want to see? Awesome. Okay, check out these super cool cats. Was that awesome or what? It actually reminds me of what we're learning about this month. This month, we're learning about how God created everything from the heavens to the earth to every single animal and every one of us people. You know the best part? God didn't create us to be all the same. I mean, just look at all those cats, for example. Some of them were really good at climbing and some of them were really good at jumping and some of them were really good at balancing. God made each of those cats special and different and God made each of us special and different too. He created us to be very unique with different gifts and abilities and that's what our story is about today. Let's go check it out together and see how God made each of us, including me and including you, super different but super special. I'll see you soon. God had created the sun and the moon. He had created the plants, fish, birds, and animals. He looked at everything and saw that it was good, but his creation was incomplete. It was time to create people. Making people would be different from making the creatures and the plants. People were to be in God's own image and they were to rule over the animals. So God formed a man out of the dust of the ground. He carefully made the man's fingers and toes, his eyes, ears, and mouth. When God finished modeling the man, he blew into the man's nose. The man began to breathe. He opened his eyes and looked around. God smiled at the first man and called him Adam. There was a lot to do that day. God told Adam that he was in charge of all the animals. His first job was to name them. Adam probably laughed when he saw the monkeys hanging from the trees chattering to each other. He may have grinned when he saw the elephants with their long trunks and big flapping ears. He probably stopped to pet the shy deer and play with a black bear. God said, It is not good for Adam to be by himself. I will make a mate for him. Adam had probably noticed that he was by himself. He may have noticed that all the animals had a partner. They had creatures like themselves to keep them company. They could communicate and share things, but there had been no one for him. So God made Adam fall into a deep sleep. Then he took one of Adam's ribs and created a woman. When Adam woke up, God brought the woman to him. Adam was pleased. He said, she was made from my bones and my flesh. She will be called woman because she was taken out of man. 
and Adam called the first woman Eve. At the end of the day, God looked at everything He had created. He saw the plants, the trees, the fish, the animals, and Adam and Eve. It had been a good day, and God said, "This is very good." Whoa! I love that story. Isn't it amazing that of all the people in the world, there's only one you. God made you perfectly you, different from everybody else, and special just the way that you are. Did you know that God made you different on purpose? For example, some of you have met my friend Danae. She's on some of the other preschool videos. Well, me and my friend Danae are super different. She's tall with red hair, and I'm pretty small with blonde hair. Danae loves to bake, and she uses her gift to bake to bless other people. She makes them cakes on their birthdays, or she brings them cookies just to make them smile. I'm not very good at baking at all, but you know what I am good at? I'm good at writing notes. I love to write letters and kind notes to encourage people, and I can use that to make people smile too. Me and Danae are really different, but that's a good thing because God wants to use us in different ways. God made us different because He wants us to do different things. And you know what? God making things reminds me of something. Our memory verse. Our memory verse this month is about how God made something. Let's go practice it together. Hello, hello, friends. I'm Miss Sarah, and I'm so excited. We're in the month of June, and it's our Bible verse time. Are you guys ready? So this month, our verse comes from Jeremiah 32, verse 17, and it says, "Lord God, you created heaven and earth." By your great power, Jeremiah 32, verse 17. Let's do that one more more time, okay? Ready? Lord God, you created heaven and earth by your great power, Jeremiah 32, verse 17. Awesome job, friends! Wonderful. Good practicing, friends. Do you know one of the best parts about being different? We can all use the different things we're good at to help each other. Danae can help me learn how to bake, and I can help Danae write really nice notes. We don't have to be good at everything because we can just be good at the things we're really good at, and we can ask people to help us that are good at other stuff. Like your parents probably help you with a lot of different things that you're maybe not good at yet, hey? Like cooking or driving or things like that. Thank goodness that we don't have to be good at everything because God made us all really good at different things. Why don't we pray and thank God that we're all so different, but that that is so so good? Let's fold our hands and pray together. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for how you made us all so special and different and unique. And you've given us different ways to bless you and to bless other people. I pray that you would help us know what our different special things are this week, and that we could use them to make you smile and to make the people around us smile. We love you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, thank you for hanging out with us today. We love spending time with you, and we can't wait to see you back here next week. Or better yet, you could come check us out in person at one of our three campuses. You can go check out hopecity.ca/kids to find out where those campuses are. We'll see you then. Bye.